What's up guys? I'm very excited to show you the Microsoft Surface tablet. We'll talk about the hardware, we'll talk about the type keyboard, and also a little bit about the operating system. So let's get started. The very first thing that I want to talk about is the display. This is a 10.6 inch display with a resolution of 1366 by 768. Now I know what you're thinking, you're probably saying, wow, that's not really a high pixel density like you would see in a iPad retina display or even on the Nexus uh, 10 tablet, which was just announced with it has a crazy resolution. But let me assure you that the display on this is awesome and Microsoft spent a lot of money to make sure that the technology in this display looks really sharp, has less glare, and believe me, you have to really use this tablet to appreciate it. It does look phenomenal. The other thing is that it sports Gorilla Glass 2, which is really nice. You don't have to worry about it getting scratched or kind of screwed up there. Um, the weight distribution is really where Microsoft nailed it. No matter how you hold this tablet, whether you hold it like this, or you hold it like this, or even with your left hand, it all it just feels great. Unlike the iPad 3 when I used it, it was just it just felt off. The iPad 2 actually felt better. And this is exactly how that feels. It has more of that iPad 2 um, feel where everything just felt right. Um, the other thing I want to talk about is the build quality. Microsoft's build quality is phenomenal. And this is just going to be my opinion. I really believe this is the best tablet in the market today. Now, I'm not talking about operating system. I'm talking about the way it was built. The build quality is top notch. I would almost compare this to like a high end car. Everything just looks and feels great. Um, you can tell that Microsoft spent or paid a lot of attention to detail. For example, and I'll talk about these little details in a second the angled edges and all of this has a purpose so for example when you hold the tablet it feels really good in your hands so for example when you place your hand here it's not going to slip away and same same the same way over here when you hold it this way because of those angled edges but those angled ed edges also have other purpose which again i will talk about in a second uh, the other thing I want to talk about is the kickstand. Another thing that, uh, mainly the whole entire thing was really thought through really well. Uh, the kickstand, let's go ahead and uh, do that here. They actually, uh, see if I can, you guys can hear this. Give me a second here. They paid even attention to the noise. They actually compare it to a car, I don't know, a car hinge. So. When you, you use this kickstand, and again, talking about those angled edges, they want to make sure that when you place the tablet down, it actually works really well and it sits without having to move. You know, of course, I'm on a, this table and it's very slippery, but unlike other tablets that have like, or they shoehorn these things to make it work, this was actually thought through. Uh, the other thing I want to talk about is the camera. And you might not be able to tell from there. I might have to show you guys a close-up. The camera angle is actually a slightly 20 degrees. So as you see it right now, the camera is not facing up. It's actually facing this way. So when you're, you know, chatting, it's it's actually right on your face. Same thing with the back camera. The back camera is actually this way. So when you're actually filming rather than doing something like this that we normally do, you actually can film this way and it's perfectly angled so these little details are really really where I think why I'm saying that Microsoft did a great job with this tablet the other thing is these uh, like I said these hinges here are really strong so I know it sounds a little flimsy but believe me this is a very very nice uh, uh, touch that that Microsoft did the micro SD port is right here I don't know if you guys can see that I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you guys here's the micro SD and again that attention to detail it's hidden so you don't even see it anywhere from the tablet and then when you have it closed it's completely hidden so very very nice on that uh, this does have stereo speakers and I will tell you you can definitely notice a difference it's pretty interesting when you see other tablets like for example the iPad the iPad speaker is back here and I know those of you that own iPads know the situation most of the times I have to cup my hand in order to properly hear because the speaker is firing down or is firing backwards sometimes even tab tablets like the Nexus 7 you have the again the speaker firing this way and in some cases sometimes it's a downfire um, speaker so it's kind of all over the place with the surface the actual speakers are on each side so when you're actually listening to it 
it has this sort of surround sound. I mean, you again, you have to experience it for yourself. And I'll tell you what, probably the best sounding uh, uh, speakers. There is a downfall though. It doesn't, the, the, the loudness is not that, or excuse me, it's not that loud, the volume. That's the only downfall that I noticed is that, that it wasn't really loud. This also has a USB cable where you can connect the webcam. Yeah, if you don't want to use this camera, you can have another one. Uh, you can connect the mouse, you can connect uh, just about anything, a printer. And let me tell you, I have connected things and it works flawlessly. And we'll talk a little bit about that later when we dive into the operating system. The other thing that you will notice is that it has a six pin proprietary connector and Microsoft uses this to charge the device. Now this could be a good and bad thing because this is just another thing that you have to lug around if you're going somewhere. Uh, unlike some tablets like the Nexus 7 that use a micro uh, USB charger and that's according to Microsoft they said that this way um, it charges a lot faster and that's the way they're doing. But this is nice, don't get me wrong. I like that they have that sort of Mac safe style. If you guys use a Mac you know what I'm talking about so that it quickly uh, disconnects and it also you could use the type or the other keyboards and I'll show you how that works. It just snaps into place and I'll tell you what, you can just see that right there. It, uh, it's very, very, uh, it's held on really tight. Uh, the nice thing about this is that you don't have to force it out, you just kind of do this. Um, but it works really good and it aligns itself automatically and I'll show you guys that again. Has that little, even a nice sound. Another thing that, again, these are the things that Microsoft uh, is, has paid attention is a lot of people say, well, that's great, but how can you use it when you're uh, on the couch? Like, you know, you can't do it this way. How are you going to use the, the, the actual the tablet with the kickstand? And this is little small things. When you actually do this, it disables the, the keyboard. You can't do anything. It doesn't do anything at all. So when you're actually sitting down, I don't know if you guys can see this, you can use the tablet this way and it works really, really great. So kudos to Microsoft for thinking out these small little things that other uh, companies just kind of forget or don't really realize how people use this device. So anyhow guys, let's dive into the operating system. Now this is running Windows RT, which is a slight different variation of Windows 8. The biggest difference is that it doesn't run x86 programs. What that means is that this has a mobile chipset, unlike your desktop that has, or your laptop that has an Intel or AMD processor. So you won't be able to run Photoshop or other programs like that. However, there are going to be releasing a different pro version that will allow you to do that. So what Microsoft is trying to do is to make sure that the experience is the same across all platforms. In other words, whether you're using the tablet, whether you're using a desktop or laptop a computer, or even uh, Xbox 360, these live tiles or the type of interface is familiar to you because if you're in that ecosystem. So one of the things I really enjoy with using this for some time now, and I wanted to take some time to actually really learn the operating system before doing a review is that everything just works. And let me explain to you what I mean by that. I have a USB mouse here, also Bluetooth, and I'm going to show you the very first time I plugged it in, just like this, no driver installation, everything just works. There it is. Okay. So you guys can see, I don't know if you guys can see the mouse cursor right there. Okay. Same thing. I'm going to go ahead and, un and unplug it. And I'm going to show you that I completely unplugged it and I'm going to go ahead and turn on the uh, Bluetooth part of it. And same thing when I move it, I don't know if you guys can see that over here, right here by Netflix, it just works. Okay. That is one of the things that I've enjoyed. Everything I've done with this tablet has worked phenomenal. It has never crashed. The browsing experience is phenomenal. You get the full entire web with this. And I must say that the experience has been probably, no, really, it has been the best of any tablet that I've used when it comes to web browsing. As you can see here, I'm on Google Plus, so you get the full web experience. It is extremely fast. Pinch to zoom is phenomenal. It really works better than even an iPad. I like that Microsoft has, in, 
Here's little like things, like even if you right click, let me show you guys right here, when I right click, it brings up the menu. Like little smart things like that are, are really fun and make the experience so much better. Same thing with YouTube. So for example, if I, if I push on YouTube there, it will bring me the full experience. So even though right now, currently, it's lacking app support, you don't really miss out on YouTube apps, Facebook app, none of those applications because you can just come to the web and experience that here, which also supports Flash and it does a really damn good job with flash support. Um, let's go ahead and you can also swipe up like this. Really smart in keeping the taskbar down here rather than up here. I mean, as you're working and you're typing, it's just much easier natural to do this than trying to kind of like monkey around over here. So let's go ahead and look at another website like Facebook so that you can see that the experience is really, really good. Um, once again, very, very smooth. Pinch to zoom. There's really no lag, and I think that's contrary to what you guys believe with Internet Explorer. I know some of you guys are going to be like, oh, Google Chrome and all that, and that's fine, but this really works really well, and Microsoft did a great job. I'm telling you, you have to use this web browser to really uh, experience that, you know? Anyhow, so the web browsing experience is really good. You know, if you want to add more tabs, you just push on that and it'll bring up another tab, as you saw right there. And of course, these are some of my favorites, so I can go jump onto my Gmail, YouTube, and stuff like that. Uh, let's go ahead and go back to the home page. The other thing, let's go to the store here, is like I said, there's not a lot of app support, but understand guys, this is still a new platform. And like Android, at one point they didn't have apps, but the apps don't feel like a mobile version. It's completely different. You, again, you guys have to really experience the, uh, the tablet. Um, the Windows tablet to, to understand. Once again, very smooth. I really like their store. I like how they uh, uh, organized it. I like the, the UI. I'll show you guys really quick. Um, one of the things that really was neat is, I'll show you something that they have is called trials. So that means that they allow you to download an application before uh, buying it, which is really neat. And I know you guys are gonna say, well, Android does that. But yeah, Android only gives you I believe uh, 15 minutes to, to play around with it. But let me see, let me pick an app here. I don't know, that's a free one. Sorry about that, let me go back here. I'm gonna pick a paid app. Uh, oh yeah, I picked top free, duh. <laughs> let me go ahead and pick a new release here and I'll show you guys that they have, where is, uh, let's see this one, slide idea. Try. So you can actually try the application before buying it. And as far as I know, because I've actually done this a couple times, I've tried apps and there's no uh, 15 minute window or, you know, I have a couple of them for several days now. I believe it's, they just give you like a limited version of it. So this is really nice. This is something that even Apple doesn't do. Once you buy it, you're kind of a have to go through loopholes in order to get your money back. So this is a very nice thing that, that um, they've done. So as I said earlier, this is running a similar version that you would see on your desktop. And you do have a desktop mode. And I'll use my mouse for right now so you guys can see. You can also look into your file system. So for example, I'm gonna go into my computer and you'll notice that out of the 32 gigs, you only have four, pretty much 14 gigs Granted, I've already installed a couple things, but it's not very much because this is running a full operating system. The nice thing is that you do get that micro SD support, but nowadays you see how tablets, even like the new Android tablets, they're really cutting down on storage. So take it for what it's worth. This is maybe a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, the other thing that you can do is you can basically run a different version of Internet Explorer here which is, I believe, their Internet Explorer 10, which is more of the desktop version instead of the mobile version, more of the familiar feel that people like. Uh, unfortunately, as of right now, you cannot change the browser, but like I said, the browser is not a bad thing. The other browser, this one here, is actually works really, really well, and it, you know, it's a very, uh, good, very good to use, and it actually is a pleasure to use. So this has a really good multitasking 
uh, interface. So for example, I could just swipe away like this to different applications and I could also do this to see all of my different programs that are running. So for example, I can just jump into Skype or if I want to go back to my Netflix movie and watch it over here on the side, I can go ahead and do that. Or let's say, for example, I wanted to, you know, move this more this way and then kind of have Skype over here on the side, I can do that or, you know, bring it this way and it automatically just, uh, you know, rearranges itself. So this is really neat to be able to do such thing with this tablet. And like I said, everything so far has just worked. I haven't had any problems and it's really uh, a very interesting tablet that, that Microsoft has done. And I think it's going to uh, do very well out there once people get their hands on and actually use it. Now let's talk a little bit more about the keyboard. The keyboard, you have a proprietary Microsoft keyboard. It does support multi-touch gestures, so you can see here, um, and it works really well. You can sort of see the, the scrolling here or, the, or moving, moving of the mouse. You do lose your uh, F keys, which is not a bad thing because all you have to do is hold down function key and you could do one, two, three for F1, F2, F3, F4, F5. Um, you could push or the Microsoft key down here. You can control the volume and nice little things. You could do a search just by uh, pushing there. So it does complement the tablet very well. Like I said, when you're using the keyboard, and I highly recommend if you actually got, if you guys actually buy one of these, um, I actually recommend the Type keyboard. I've used both of them, but I really enjoy the tactile feedback that you get with with this one. Uh, with the other one, it's more of a uh, different type of feel but the nice thing about this is it's so thin and I don't know if you guys can it's probably hard to see this this keyboard is very thin it doesn't even weigh anything as a matter of fact when you just to show you guys in a size comparison when you put this with the keyboard and let me bring the Nexus uh, 7 tablet next to it you'll notice that I don't know if you guys can see that it's not that much uh, it doesn't add that much now just for what it's worth, let me take the uh, keyboard out and show you that there. The actual Nexus 7 is bigger. I don't know if I can show you with, uh, just take my word for it. The Nexus 7 is taller, um, not bigger. So with the actual keyboard on top, you'll notice that it's very, there's a small little difference, okay? It's something like this. Like I said, it's, sorry, it's very hard to, to show you guys. So there you have it guys, the Microsoft Surface tablet is a great tablet and I really haven't had any negatives. I guess the only really true negative is that it has uh, no applications or lack of app support. But of course, like anything, that's going to change hopefully soon. I believe that there's going to be a lot of developers that are going to contribute to this platform because it really is a great platform. And as I stated, everything I've done with it so far, it just works great. And I can't say that with other tablets out there. You know, there's always little finicky things or things that just don't work properly. But really, uh, I believe that Microsoft has really nailed it. And for those of you out there that want a, a platform or a tablet that, that uh, is capable of doing more, just wait for the pro version. The pro version will allow you to do a, a lot more other things. You can run you know, Photoshop or if you want to run other uh, more heavy intensive apps, you are able to do that in a more uh, mobile platform. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed this, this whole review. Um, if you like technology, please subscribe to my channel. Let your uh, friends know about this channel. Please share this with all your friends and family. I highly appreciate that. And once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.